Hey guys, so this is June the Homemaker, the vlog. Um, so I just wanted to tape this because I am sending cookies today to Travis the Homewrecker. So there are the cookies and I wrapped them up, as I said, tighter than Chernobyl. And then my mom was like, didn't Chernobyl explode? And then I was like, yes, get it? Because they're tighter than Chernobyl. So nothing is going to go wrong with your cookies, Travis the Homewrecker, although I will probably blur out your name and your address because otherwise that would be silly. Okay, well, I'm going to get ready to go. Now I'm sitting in my driveway right now because, as you may or may not know, it is freezing. I don't know if you can see my breath. This is probably not very good for my camera, but it's fine. So I am going to the post office to mail that box, and I pretty much decided to create a second channel because... There were some things in the June the Homemaker show, like the June the Homemaker show has to be less than 10 minutes long because really do you want to watch me make a pie for like more than 10 minutes? But there are always these little funny segments that I'm like, damn it, why can't I put that in the June the Homemaker show? So I decided to create a second June the Homemaker channel where I could put like random stuff and bring you with me when I do errands sometimes. Like to send Travis the homewrecker his cookies and actually you remember how I said I was gonna send him a ringtone hold on wait you're gonna love this wait for it yeah it's pretty much my favorite thing that's totally the ringtone on my phone right now um, so I am going to drive. Shay Carl films while driving all the time, but I don't know if I can because I don't have a flip camera. I just have a normal camera and also I'm a terrible driver, so I pretty much I'm going to have to be really careful. Okay, so let me just explain to you that apparently there is a party at the post office on Saturday. I've never seen this many people at the post office. Um, also, I wanted to tell you that in addition to the box that I'm sending, I'm sending like a check with a bill. And when I thought about sending bills, I thought bills, bills, bills. But instead of thinking Destiny's Child, which would have made sense, it started singing Pocahontas in my head. It was like bills, 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 and bills, and bills, and bills, and bills, and bills. I don't know why it would do that. Um, but yeah, I started thinking about that song, that All of the Gold is Mine song. And I don't know. Okay, Travis the Homewrecker, your cookies are on the way. Although, let me just say for the record, in case you were wondering, I think that that is totally cheating. And I just want to say to everybody that Travis the Homewrecker had a really easy time tying his apron in front of him. He wrapped the things around and tied them in the front. And he, do not back into me, sir. That is not okay. He tied his apron strings around the front and a tiny bow, which I will, I mean, I'll say that's not easy. Like, you know, props for that. Um, but also, here's the thing. He was not wearing five layers of clothing while he did that. So that's, that's the part that I want to put forth, that I was actually wearing five layers of clothing. And I actually did tie it in a knot. So yeah, so here are my thoughts about the post office. First of all, I love everyone that works at the post office. Like the woman who was working was very like, oh, where are you sending this? Oh, my son goes to college there. We drove him back in a snowstorm and blah, blah, blah. Like they always have a story about everything. They always know everybody. Post office people are friendly, except for when they're shooting up everything. And I don't really think a lot of them do that. I think it's like the occasional crazy person. There was like that slew of people who like shot up the post office for a while, but oh, I don't know. There's a few bad apples in every bunch. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't mean all post office people are bad. In fact, I think most, the vast majority of post office people are like the sweetest people ever. My aunt used to work at the post office and it was like she knew everybody and it was just, it was just the coolest thing. Um, also, do you ever feel like everybody who lives in a town kind of looks the same? Do you ever feel like that? I feel like that a lot. Like, I feel like I walked into the post office this morning and I was like, huh, I can kind of tell that all these people are from my town. And I don't know what it is because it's not like we're all the same nationality or whatever. And we definitely weren't all wearing like the same clothes. But it's like you could just tell, you could just like 
Maybe it's because they're in the post office. Maybe it's because people who visit don't go to the post office. Maybe I'm making implicit assumptions about people based on the fact that they were at the post office. And that's not really fair, is it? Also, I saw a guy in a van outside the post office that I really thought looked like Tim Curry. And I was like, oh my God, Tim Curry. He had like a beard. Remember Tim Curry when he had his beard? Like when he did, um, did he have a beard in Muppet Treasure Island or was it a mu mustache? I don't remember. But he looked like Tim Curry with a beard and I was like, Gah. only then it wasn't really him. It was kind of exciting though <laughs> for a second. And I looked at him, I kind of went, I did one of those double takes. That's probably not what a double take looks like for real. Um, but yeah, so I did that. And he was very like, and thought that I was weird. Cause I am, 